I'm gonna show you how to do a full oil change on a Chevy Silverado 1500. It's gonna take six quarts of oil. So this right here is a gallon, one gallon, which equals four quarts. So we'll use one and a half of these. And then you're obviously gonna need a new oil filter and the oil that you'll need and the oil filter are linked up in the description below the cheapest place to get them off of by far especially if you have Amazon Prime is off of Amazon so click the link below as far as what else you'll need obviously a funnel you'll need a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and then also a large pair of pliers or filter um, remover. So let's get started here. I'm also going to show you how to um, reset the oil light as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up your truck. You can see I got it on jack stands. And it's always a good idea to have some cardboard. So need something obviously to drain the oil into. So we'll slide that underneath there. And then we'll get our 15 millimeter. And we'll take out the drain plug. So we'll slide underneath here. And then as you can see, this is the bolt that we're going to take off. So if you're coming down, coming down right there, you'll see the oil filter right up here. And then it's this bolt right there. So it's also a good idea probably to, um, have uh, wear a pair of gloves at least on your uh, you know dominant hand I'm right-handed so I usually like to wear a pair of gloves and it's usually going to shoot out pretty strong to start off with so we'll move that right to there pull this out boom and then I usually like to let it drain for like five minutes and then I like to kind of move it back get it and it's never a bad idea to uh, clean off uh, this bolt it has a little magnet on it so if it has any Um, metal shavings on it or anything it's always good to clean those off but yeah we'll just let that thing drain now and we'll put this right here grab our socket All righty, the next thing we're going to grab is our pair of pliers and we're going to put them on the widest setting like that. And then as you saw, that filter is right there. So what you can do, and it doesn't matter if you um, bend this filter. Just to get it loosened up.
That's why the gloves are nice. And then you just take that and put that right there. Let that drain. Then we'll take off that uh, pair of gloves. And I'll go wash my hands and go clean off that bolt. And then we'll be ready to add the oil and reset the oil light. So as you can see, we got the drain plug all nice and clean, wiped it off with a towel. The next thing that you're gonna do is open up your oil filter. And then you're gonna wanna open up a thing of your oil. And then just stick your your finger in there just the tip of your finger and rub that oil right around that seal on the oil filter so it seals up good just like that and that's all you need to do and then we can put the cap back on there so I don't spill it and then we'll just let that drain for a couple more minutes make sure you get all the oil out of there and we'll be ready to put on our new oil filter and put the plug back in now we're gonna put back in the oil filled the new oil filter and put back in the drain plug now when you tighten that drain plug <laughs> You're not gonna wanna tighten it super tight. I mean, you don't wanna tighten it pretty tight, but you definitely don't want to over tighten it. Just pretty snug, cause you can strip it out. There we go. So now we'll put a screw on our oil filter. And you're not gonna wanna tighten it down with the pliers. It'll, uh, with that rubber seal, just get it. <sighs> tight with your hands that's plenty tight so now we're ready to add the oil so you want to make sure I already cleaned my funnel, but it's never a bad idea to uh, wipe out your funnel with a towel. And then, as you can see, just so you know, the oil plug is right there. Take that off. we'll put in again six quarts a gallon is four quarts like I said before the oil and the oil filter filter you'll need is linked up in the description below And then after you get all this out of here, what you're gonna wanna do is let that drain.
right like that. Let all that oil get out of there because you'd be surprised how much will be left. So while we do that, I will show you how to reset the oil light. What you're gonna wanna do is, I'll just show you this first. See right there, oil life, zero. So what you're gonna wanna do is take your key, turn it to the auxiliary position. So the position to where your, um, you know, like radio and stuff comes on, but it doesn't start the truck. So turn your key halfway, just like that. And then what you're gonna do is hit down on the gas pedal three times. One, two, three. And then it'll say oil life reset. And then, as you'll see, oil life, 100%. So that's how you reset the oil light. And now we'll put in our other two quarts. A little bit more. Alrighty, that should be six quarts exactly. Then the last thing you're gonna wanna do is take out the dipstick it's the yellow one you're gonna want to wipe it off wipe it all the way off and then we're gonna stick it back in Then, as you can see, we got the oil filled all the way to the top. It's to about, right about that last hole. I like to run mine um, all the way to the top. It's not a bad idea, especially if yours has a little bit higher miles on it. Take out our funnel. Put our cap back on. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and start it up and let it run for a couple minutes. Woo, my battery's getting bad. Let it idle for a couple minutes. As you can see, it says my oil life's been reset. Oil life 100%. 
which I already showed you how to do. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this tutorial video. Please comment below. Let me know if this helped you. Let me know if it didn't. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And thank you for watching. And like I said, please get your oil and oil filters that are linked up in the description below. Peace.